This short presentation looks at the potential risks of using jargon and why it is important to avoid it with collaborators and we also give some ideas on what you could do to avoid using jargon yourself. Firstly, what is jargon? Defined here as words or expressions used by a profession or group that are difficult for others to understand. Simply, jargon is any word that might not be understood or, perhaps more importantly, could be misinterpreted by others. The words could be technical terms used by your discipline or more simple phrases. The main issue in collaborations is that some relatively straightforward words or terms may be interpreted very differently by different disciplines or sectors. For example, just the simple word recovery might mean something very different to an engineer, a psychologist, a sports scientist or an economist. As a research professional, it's important to get the balance between having integrity within your own research field and using the associated technical terms, but also making yourself and your research accessible to non-specialists. Many experienced collaborators will tell you that language and jargon could be a risk to research collaborations if used incorrectly. So what could the risks be? Conversing with someone who uses a lot of jargon could feel intimidating, even for very experienced, intelligent and educated people. When you don't know a word or don't understand a phrase or concept, you could feel intimidated by those who do use them. Have you ever read a legal document or a contract that was difficult for you to understand? How did that make you feel? And would you choose to spend time working with others if they made you feel that way? The misunderstanding that jargon can cause will waste time when you're working with others. There is a danger that assumptions could lead to incorrect decisions being made and therefore delaying projects. But most of all, it simply takes people longer to figure out what you're talking about if you use too much jargon. Could you be wasting someone else's time by using unnecessary jargon? Here is an example of some text that could easily appear in an article. Did you understand it straight away? Most people would need to read this a couple of times and possibly think a little bit more carefully to interpret it. But how about this alternative? It says the same thing, but is understood much more quickly. Although you may need to spend time rewriting or practicing your communication to simplify it in this way, it will pay off in the long run. Too much jargon could make people suspicious or mistrusting. They might wonder whether the jargon is hiding something or whether they are deliberately being excluded from understanding. If you're unable to explain things simply, will your collaborators want to work with you? It can be very frustrating to hear lots of jargon without getting to what is really the important point about what you're saying. Try to explain something more simply and avoid frustrating others. They will appreciate it if you can just get to the point. Experienced collaborators will tell you that one of the most important aspects of a research collaboration is that there is trust between the partners. If you overuse technical language and jargon, this can begin to alienate your partners and could make them less likely to trust you and therefore undermine the effectiveness of the collaboration. So what can you do about using jargon? Here are three simple things that you could try to do. Firstly, you could jargon proof your own communication. When do you use jargon and why do you use it? Is it necessary? Scan through your presentations and written work and highlight any words that you think you might need to explain to a non-specialist. What proportion of your words could be misinterpreted or misunderstood? Think about other ways to describe what you're trying to say using analogies or metaphors. Or you could think of simple definitions or explanations when you do need to use the technical terms. You could use these definitions to create a jargon dictionary for your collaborators to use. Some research collaborators have said that it has been useful to create a simple glossary of terms for use by all of the partners in the project so that everyone is on the same page. And finally, just practice simpler ways of communicating when you rehearse presentations. 
One way to think about it is to imagine that you're talking to a group of educated 16 year olds. This is about the right level to pitch talking to non-specialists about your research or just try practicing your talking to friends and family. Ask them to be honest and give you some feedback on what they really understood. Finally, the time that you put into avoiding jargon will be appreciated by your collaborators and will help more people to understand and engage in your research. This can only have a positive effect on you and your research, so make some steps now to plan your communication jargon-free. Thank you.